Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve a few practice sums based on line symmetry. Here is our first sum. Take any one diagonal as a line of symmetry and shade a few more squares to make the figure symmetric about a diagonal. Is there more than one way to do that? Will the figure be symmetric about both the diagonals? So let's uh, copy this one more time so that we can try this in both the diagonals. Let's do that first. So we have copied the figure. Now let's draw diagonals in that figure. Now we have two different diagonals here from left top to right bottom and here from right top to left bottom. And now we'll try to make them symmetric. So for that, if you see, for this to be symmetric, I need this to be colored as black. One. For this to be symmetric, I need to be this to be black. This, I need this here. And then if you see here, I need this. So now the figure is symmetric around this diagonal. Now let's look at this. For this I need here, for this I need here, for this I need here, for this I need here. Oh, and if we see for both the diagonals, I need to color the same squares and hence the figure will be symmetric about both the diagonals once we make it symmetric about one diagonal. But this is not always true. This is true in the current situation. This is not always true. There can be multiple ways of making it symmetric and in each case it won't be symmetric around both the diagonals every time. Let's do the next one. State the number of lines of symmetry for each of the following figures. An equilateral triangle. So let's draw an equilateral triangle. So we have an equilateral triangle here and we have already seen that through the equilateral triangle, if I go through this vertex and the center of the opposite side, then that is actually a line of symmetry. So this is a line of symmetry. It makes two triangles and same way we can do that from each of the vertex. So there would be three lines of symmetry for an equilateral triangle. For an isosceles triangle, we can easily see that there is a line of symmetry here, which passes through this vertex and the opposite side. But from here, I don't see any line of symmetry. If it passes through this vertex and the center of this side, it is not a symmetric figures which we get. Same way, not, neither here. So we have only one line of symmetry for an isosceles triangle. For a scale and triangle, all the sides are of different major. So if I draw from this vertex, I draw a line which passes through the center of the opposite side, it won't be symmetric because this side and this side, they are not equal. They will not overlap. They will never overlap. And so we have zero lines of symmetry for a scale and triangle. Now let's look for the quadrilaterals. In square, I can join the centers of opposite lines to get a line of symmetry. That gives me a line of symmetry because these two shapes are same. Similarly, the vertical lines also. I get line of symmetry. Then when I draw the diagonals, even they are dividing the shape into two equal and coinciding shapes because this side matches with this side, this side matches with this side. So we have two more lines of symmetry. So total we have four lines of symmetry. For rectangle, I have this horizontal line of symmetry here, which passes through the center of the opposite side. Same way I have vertical one, which passes through the center of these two opposite sides. But if I draw this diagonal, 
you can see when I folds this side goes on this and this side's length is not same as this side so they will not coincide hence the diagonals are not the lines of symmetry and hence I have only two lines of symmetry here for a rhombus the diagonals are lines of symmetry because this angles are equal these two sides are equal and hence the diagonals are lines of symmetry for rhombus so two now what about this if i join them if i join this the problem is this angle is not equal to this angle so they will not overlap which means the lines joining the centers of opposite sides are not lines of symmetry for rhombus so we have only two lines of symmetry for rhombus now for parallelogram if i join this opposite side centers like in rhombus this angle and this angle they are not equal so they will not coincide when i if i fold on this or same way if i fold on this these two angles are not equal so they will not overlap so lines joining the centers of opposite sides are not lines of symmetry what about the diagonals if i draw a diagonal this side is going to overlap on this but the length of this side and length of this side they are not same so it will not completely overlap and that means even the diagonals are not lines of symmetry in case of a parallelogram so there are zero lines of symmetry for a parallelogram and a quadrilateral a quadrilateral we know as none of the sides or none of the angles equal and hence there are zero lines of symmetry for quadrilateral as well now let's look at a regular hexagon and a circle in a hexagon a regular hexagon if we join the diagonals if we opposite vertices we get two equal shapes which coincide with each other so all the opposite vertices lines joining opposite vertices are lines of symmetry they are all lines of symmetry now what about this line which joins opposite sides if we see even that is line of symmetry because this angle is equal to this angle this angle is equal to this angle because this is a midpoint of the side they will overlap exactly this so there are six lines of symmetry for a regular hexagon and we have seen that earlier in regular polygons the lines of symmetry are equal to number of sides so hexagon has six sides so there are six lines of symmetry what about circle circle all the diameters all the diameters actually are lines of symmetry for circle so how many diameters you can draw this 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 so there are so many which means there are almost infinite diameters we can draw uncountable infinite so a circle has infinite lines of symmetry give three examples of shapes with no line of symmetry we have seen that the skeleton triangle which does not have any sides equal it's an example of a shape where there are no lines of symmetry so that is one skeleton triangle we also seen a quadrilateral a quadrilateral also does not have any sides or any angles equal and hence a quadrilateral also has zero lines of symmetry and similarly we have seen a parallelogram a parallelogram also does not have any lines of symmetry so these are three examples of shapes with no line of symmetry i am sure you have liked the video 
hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the QTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, goodbye.